Zelda struggles so much to get in and then capitalize uh, when getting in. Um, we are yeah, opting to go for PS2 for game one. Yeah, PS2 is usually the name of the stage for both these players, and you're going to see a lot of zoning coming in from Zero to None, but when he finds those openings, just like he did right now, you're going to see some meaty damage being put out. Mm -hmm. Um, and I really love the usage of the chakra from numbers already because even though he didn't get the full connection there, wow, great, uh, uh, great reflection there. Oh my gosh, he just two framed him with that side B right there. And yeah, that's going to be something that we're going to see. You don't really see John numbers throw out that reflector a lot, but when he does, you see that it's been connecting and it's been going so much in his favor. 81% already dealt on zero to none's first stock. And he seems to be not slowing down whatsoever, reading him left and right three in a row. Wow, and, and, and this is definitely where John Lumber is especially menacing, but Zero to not able to roll and get the F smash in time. A very, very safe move and commitment. And I'm surprised John Lumber was able to avoid the Phantom there despite landing so aggressively with a down air right onto Phantom. I do believe he crossed up the Phantom with the down air while he was hitting him. So definitely like a little bit of matchup experience there and fantastic use of the chakra to stuff out the use of the phantom. Um, that's definitely something Zeratana has to keep his eyes open for because if he charges phantom preemptively, he's just going to get shot at from right. long range uh, by the chakra. Yeah, but you see both players holding their own right now and trying to prove themselves very worthy of sealing this first stock first. And just as I say that, one little dash attack will seal the stock for John Numbers taking it. Now with a, not so much of a convincing lead because as I say that, all it takes is one fair, the heel kick coming in from Zelda. Mm -hmm. And now we are back at zero apiece, but now John Numbers trying to respond back with a little bit of move sets of his own. Not going to get the stock yet, but 26% is 26%. That is enough to work with right now for John Numbers. And he seems to be finding every single opening. Every time the Phantom has come out, the Reflector has been the key factor. And mm -hmm. as I say that, he finally gets hit by one. And I feel like right now Zeratunan has to be a little bit more careful about landing on John Numbers' shield. Like, this was something I mentioned to Zeratunan right before he jumped in, but John Numbers is able to get an up out of shield on all these commitments with, like, right. well, Zeratunan's respective uh, teleport on his up -y. But right now, super scary for John Numbers. I love the use of the reflect rather than air dodging to invalidate the use of uh, Zeratunan's Jin's fire. Yeah, and you see right now, both players really holding on their own. This has been one of the most even, even games I've seen so far today. And you see both players just holding on their own right now, playing their characters to their full mm -hmm. potential. And as I say, that one up B will solidify once again that stock. Now, John zero to none with a slight lead. Mm -hmm. John has to be super careful when he's committing to the long range chakra because if zero to none is above him, not able to get directly hit by it, he can just up B right into him and effectively reset neutral or even worse, take out the stock like that. So, uh, Numbers has to be definitely very, very attentive of how he's is zoning and committing to these long range options. Love the fact that John just sat in shield there knowing that, you know what, I'm going to take a bunch of shield damage, my shield isn't going to break, right. I'll be fine, I'll get out of this scenario somehow. Yeah, and also good awareness from Zero to None, finally using his own neutral B for that Phantom as well, in case John Numbers were to reflect it as he's been doing so this whole matchup. And as I say that, 68% of extra credit to work with right now for Zero to None, as he is also down to his final stock, and now the patience John coming numbers, in from John Numbers. He's just closing out, he's just closing out this gap between them, because I feel like um, Zero to None especially, like, he was getting impatient, like with those new trilbies, and right there, Numbers has suddenly taken the lead, not just present-wise, but also position-wise. With those, with that upbeat, Numbers has plenty of time to react and punish it. So, like, Zero to be really, really careful from the back here, almost enough to take it out, but the chakra snipe, not even coming through with that. Ooh, that was so good. Wow. Like, getting the, the perfect timing on the tornado, making sure he wasn't going to get hit by that anytime soon. I'm surprised that the new reflect, but Zero to Nine might have been ready. And the F smash taking out John Numbers' last stock for game one. Yeah, and you see, in, towards the end of that, you know, final stock, it just seemed like John Numbers had no answer to how to get back on stage because every single option seemed to be at covered. You see the Phantom right there, and he gets grabbed as he gets for his, goes for the normal, normal getup. And then look at this right here. Once again, trying to find a way to get him. The Phantom comes out, not going to connect there. And he goes for the jump, but all it took was one little forward smash. Another beauty to be played. And now we take things to game two. Um, right now, game two, they're going to be running it back to Pokemon Stadium 2. Again, as you mentioned before, like this is the stage of choice to both of these players and characters. 
Um, and right now, I love that from Zero to None. Uh, John Numbers was definitely trying to stuff out some sort of an aerial approach going with the forwarder, but Zero to None is going to stay on top of it. Well, did he mash neutral B? Is that intentional? Who knows with Zelda? Um, That's the thing with Zelda, you know, like, you don't think that. You know, she's a character that has to match because you want to get all the inputs out as fast as you can. And just like that, the out, outer shield is landing up, unsafely on yeah. Zero to None's shield, so... And he's getting hard punished for it as he, Zero to None has finally brought this game. Oh my gosh, what a beautiful connection and what a conversion that could have been if that were to hit could've, the sweet spot. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. Uh, unfortunately, in a different timeline that did connect, then we would have both popped up. Oh up god, Out yeah. of shield and out of to shield. take out the stock at 96%. Amazing job from Zero to None. That's exactly what's been the gameplay for Zero to None. These uppies have been connecting for him to his favor. And John Numbers, very, very weird that he's not able to, you know, avoid these uppies. Because even from recoveries, you know, not just out of shield, but even recovery-wise, Zero to None has been going for these. And he has been hitting John Numbers with these a lot. And now he sits at 155, trying to find a way to get some damage. As I say that, the Phantom's going to put 14% on John Numbers' stock. What I think would be a really interesting play from Numbers is if he could throw out his tornado to cover out, to cover like the cross up uh, teleport that Zero to None has been doing. Ouch. And that, up I think tilt. that was up tilt. That was yeah. up tilt. Mm -hmm. and I need to take out the stock there. Yeah, all it took was one up tilt and now 33% of extra credit to work with. And now the patience from John Numbers. That has been the virtue so far for his gameplay. Trying to find those openings, and as I say that, he's just racking up this damage. And every time you see John numbers down, you just see how much more patient he gets. And the problem with that is that every time he gets the lead back, he gets to be a little bit more aggressive than he should be. So the patience is something that he has to rely a lot more on. And, and right there, that could have been really, really bad for him super quickly. Oh but my able God. to get the reflected phantom, sweeping Zeratinon across the stage and taking out the stock. Zeratinon has to. Get John off stage and successfully edge guard him, but John has been doing such an amazing job in the set so far of getting back against Zero to None's ledge trapping. Um, regardless, that void or maybe it was a back hit, the moves are identical. Um, just like knocking off John so hard, the spaced F smash safe on shield. Um, and right now Zero to None has to is grasping his jaws of getting back into advantage, uh, over committing to the up B and getting punished for it with an oh, F tilt. I like the option there using that. <clears throat> that reflected to his advantage trying to get the heel kick, but not gonna happen there. And now the Phantom back into play. Gonna <laughs> we're gonna lose that Phantom though. 55% already to work with for John Numbers in his favor, and then some 104 already. And yeah, Zero to No wants to be able to have any chance to get win this win this game and take it back. He's going to have to seal the stock as I say that he does. And now the question becomes who's gonna be more patient? Who's gonna find their openings? And all it took was one down tilt into an uppy. That was crazy. That was, I mean, <laughs> I don't know if that was Me true. Sword Fighter has a very, very simple game plan of I am going to kill them with either an uppy or an up air. Dude, he was at 67. And I'm going to knock them up and I'm going to confirm into that. Oh my gosh, he was at 67 and that just convert. Uh, I don't know. I want to say that was a DI situation, but I could be wrong. What, what, nevertheless, we're going to game three of this mm -hmm. winner's quarters, I believe, right? We're still in winner's quarters, or are we in yeah. winner's semis? Oh, no. Winners oh, and we're going to see Zeratinon switching to... I saw him hovering over Palutena. I saw uh -oh. him hovering over Robin. He's having doubt in his character pick right now. He has to stick to his guts, and Wolf? it looks like... No. What's he doing? What is he doing? Zeta, just Make up your Zelda. mind, man. Stay Zelda. Make up your mind. But, stay Zelda, bro. Just stick just to your roots, man. If, if you think the Zelda's not going to... Okay. <sighs> As I say that, we're going to go with Zelda, but a different change of s scenery. We're going to town and city. This so, music is so calm. Just uh, everybody relax. We're going to have a good time. It makes me want to relax, but then it, I remember this is a fighting game. So what is this song doing in this game? Is it a fighting game if you're fighting against two corny ass zoners? Anyhow, getting back to the set. <laughs> Fine, I'll, um, I'll give you that one. Um... Right now, really, really, really even game. Uh, both of them are just trading with their projectiles a lot. Uh, Zero to None getting the sour spot in his forward. It was super, super unfortunate. Definitely intending to get the sweet spot and dealing an easy 20% with that. Um, ooh, John Numbers. Like, that's definitely the highlight of John Numbers' play. I feel like he is so good at conditioning your shield with Chakram and that he just forward airs and down airs you for jumping out of shield. So that's some classic Numbers play right there. Ooh, Numbers off by like a pixel or two on the spacing for his F-Smash. And Zeratinon again, teleporting to the center stage. 
great, great reflective coming from Zillion on um, just like mixing up John's timing a little bit, you know? Yeah. And you see him, John Numbers playing it very, very more patiently, a lot more cautiously, and that's something you don't see very often from John Numbers. You know he likes to go as aggressive as he can and find those openings. As I say that, he is not afraid to go for it all. High risk, high reward type plays. And you see why it's paying off for him right now. One tornado into the uppy. Yes, sir, you are gone. And now John Numbers takes, <clears throat> takes the lead in this game three. Ooh, and that's something so particularly menacing about fighting a character with as blatant disjoints like um, like me sword fighters because right now you just saw Zeratinon get the iframes on his neutral B but Zeratinon's forward air, I mean um, John Abus' forward air was just able to poke through it because of just how active it is uh, it is a multi-hitting forward air after all Youch. that was amazing I think that was a two frame down tilt into the phantom and the, once again, the Phantom going under the stage and connecting, racking up a little bit more damage for Zero to None, and that's just some great spacing coming in from, from oh, Zero to None. Oh, that was so, so good. Like, Zero to None, is, I feel like in this game right now, Zero to None is definitely, like, showing off his, like, usage of the Reflector a lot more than, than in the previous games. Had numbers teched in place, that would have knocked him off stage, um, definitely putting him in a really bad ledge cap scenario. Catching the unsavory landing with the uppy. Right now, this is a lot of where Zilatinan's play comes in. Like, catching all these bad landing options. And once again, again all these uppies, man, they have been connecting for zero to none left and right. A few times he misses, but every time, he, the second time, he, you know he's going to convert it. And you see right there, John Numbers getting a little bit more impatient. Just throwing out attacks, trying to find an opening that he can. Ooh, I'm surprised that the Chakram had so much priority that it just went through the Phantom as an extended hurt box and then just all went all the way through. Uh, despite Zigerton not having the lead, I don't think he has the positional lead right now being knocked off stage. Great timing on the neutral getup, making sure that he wasn't going to get hit by a tornado anytime soon. And you see numbers really, really desperate to reflect the Phantom in the back end enough to take out the stock. Zigerton suddenly lost his lead and right now he needs to... Uh, close out the stock ASAP. Oh wow. my gosh, and as I say that, all it took is one shield poke with the up smash. I don't and think he it was a shield poke, actually. I feel like Numbers was, un was just like not familiar with how long that lasts. Um, oh my goodness, I never seen so many reflectors into one little <gasps> move, and, and he just catches him in the air. Out. That was just an impressive showing from John Numbers there, especially keeping full composure. I don't know how the reflectors just reflected left, right, left, right, but um, that I was a, a sight to see. Yeah, because at a certain point, like, there's a max, I feel like it's six times that something can actually be reflected before it breaks through any reflector right. in the game. So